Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about Epstein-Barr virus testing. How do we determine if you have an acute infection, past infection, or you have a reactivation of the Epstein-Barr virus? This is very important because some people will have chronic Epstein-Barr virus issues and cause chronic fatigue and health issues, and sometimes it'll impact the thyroid, uh, impacting Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So let's get right into it. The Epstein-Barr virus, you're looking for antibody testing. It's called viral capsid antigen IgM antibodies, or VCA for short, and it will show up in the first exposure up to four to six weeks out, and then it'll disappear. VCA IgG antibodies appear in the acute phases and peaks around two to four weeks, and then it will persist for a lifetime. So it will show up once you've had it for your lifetime. There's something called early antigen, EAD antibody, and this uh, uh, shows up in the acute phases of Epstein-Barr and tends to disappear. However, in about 20% of the population, this antibody will persist and will be detectable for several years or some people for a lifetime. Epstein-Barr nuclear antigen testing, or eBNA antibodies, appears when acute phase is resolved. So you're out of the acute phase of the Epstein-Barr virus, and it develops two to four months after the acute phase, and it will persist for your lifetime. So this one and this one will, sh will persist and show up in your blood for your lifetime. So how do we determine if we have an acute infection? How do we uh, determine if we have a past infection or an activation or reactivation of the virus? So listed above is the individual test that we just talked about. So if you come and we test a patient and they're negative for all of them, okay, this first line, negative, that means that person has never had the infection, okay, and they don't have any acute infections, right? So they never had it and don't have the infection. They're susceptible to getting Epstein-Barr, okay? When you have a positive IgM, IgG, and a negative, negative, you're going to have an early or primary infection, right? Because you have IgM that goes up initially. When you have a positive or a negative here, positive, positive, negative, that means it's an active infection still going on. Now, when we have a negative, so this is when hap the acute phase is, it shows up, this disappears, and then you have a positive, negative, positive, that means you had a past infection, okay? So this is where it gets a little tricky. You have a negative here, so the past infection is gone, Initial infection is gone here, and then you have a positive, positive, and positive, and that would typically um, indicate a reactivation of the virus. The only problem is that in this section here, you have 20% that might have persistent levels that are elevated after the initial infection. So you have to look at the clinical signs and symptoms of someone who comes in and determine if they have a possible reactivation. So if you're suspecting a reactivation, it's positive IgG, positive early antigen, and a positive EBNA, okay? When you have these three, you can possibly have a reactivation of the Epstein-Barr virus. Now the question is, how do we get someone healthy if you know they have chronic virus issues? It's not really about just killing a virus off. It's about building your immune system, right? Things that are good for your immune system, things like sleep, reducing stress, eliminating those factors that create issues for you like smoking and alcohol and all the other things. So lifestyle factors are very important. And I've made other videos on viruses, so I'll go ahead and put that link up. And uh, in terms of building your immune system, you have to have uh, proper lifestyle factors in place first 
before taking on all the nutritions and nutraceuticals that would help your immune system. So we'll go over some nutrition and uh, things that can build your immune system on our next video. So stay tuned, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.